What is up everyone? CZ History Gaming. Bring another Brutal Age video. It's on the the Dragon Seals. Uh, what are Dragon Seals? They are artifacts that you can equip on to your Dragonkin and you upgrade them to maximize their effectiveness. One complete set of eight works for all the Dragonkin. You don't have to make some for each of your Dragonkin. It's actually four separate artifacts that you have a pair of uh, a pair on. So that, that makes the eight. And here's the four on the left-hand side of the screen right here. You have the claws, the wings, the horns, the head. They're all called uh, the green dragon claw, head, horns, wings. And uh, each of the artifacts, as you're upgrading them, the stats will increase the attack, defense, and health of your troops, uh, of the troop statistic and the shaman statistic, the beastmaster, the warrior statistic. And you can see uh, the first one, you, the first upgrade you do for the for the individual troops starts you off at 14.1% which is a pretty big boost for the first one and then after that and that's for the regular and if you notice the colors here they're, they're gonna look kind of familiar it's the same kind of colorization as you have on the war patterns so after the 14.1 percent it goes up two percent two point six percent three point nine percent six point two uh if you if you're really interested you can pause it and check all that out but for, for the totals i mean it's because the max and legendary is 49 percent uh a total of 40 of 94 percent combined so that's on each of the stats that's that's huge that's a huge bonus and i believe this is similar to all, also to the equipment into the ancient treasure so you're going to have three different uh you're going to be coming out this three different ways here's the troop upgrade you, you'll notice from the runes that troop when you do the troops that it's a lot different than when you do the individual troops so the, the stats seem a lot smaller but they actually play out really big so to get these to work, you have to load each position. There, you have four different positions that you're going to load the the dragon seal remnants. Uh, you need ten remnants to make one seal. Uh, once you get the dragon seal in there, you have to build it by, by by collecting the ten remnants. Then you pay 140 gold dust to activate it. I believe it's 140. And once it's activated, then you'll just upgrade it accordingly. Uh, you don't have to do anything else to it once it's upgraded. Here's a here's a list of the buffs. I don't know how well you can see it, uh, but this is on on this is a bright shortly after we started, so you you can get some really big bonuses pretty fast. I would suggest you that you make sure you upgrade all this stuff evenly. You may only use one troop, but when they attack you, you, you all of them you need all their defenses to be up as high as you can, and this will really help in defense. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of this gold dust. Uh, you can get that by fighting the menorah out, out on the map and th th those are clan based attacks you have to use your clan mates you do rally attacks against them with your partners you'll also get using the brutal challenge is where you're going to get a lot of your materials from you'll get some just by completing the tasks and also by opening the chests with those keys up this the stuff that you see on the right side of the screen I, I opened two chests up and i got all that and you'll notice that the dragon soul shard it's uh you also get the alchemy and the blue stuff which i don't remember what that's called right now so also don't forget about the events that we have events that happen almost every week right now that they're really trying to make everything available to everyone so you don't fall behind on this stuff and um in the events you you get a lot a lot of your dust that way and of course if you struggle to get it every other way you can always go to the shop tons of new content coming out subscribe to brutal age on youtube industry gaming on youtube it's not just about the videos it's about the interaction we get with the players as well it's a great platform for everyone to ask questions and to get involved in the community and don't forget about the, the developer question and answer is in game right now they'll pick a handful of questions out of all the ones they receive and answer them publicly hope you enjoyed the video so lots of ways to help shape the digital world you live in that is brutal age till next time it's been easy take care everybody